Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our preparation of an unknown C4 acetate ester experiment. In this experiment, we will prepare an ester using acetic acid and an unknown C4 alcohol. You will need to use the boiling points of the unknown alcohol and its ester, as well as the infrared spectra to determine which unknown alcohol was used from the following list. Let's get started. We will begin by pre-weighing a 25 milliliter round bottom flask. The mass of the pre-weighed 25 milliliter round bottom flask is 28.7566 grams. We will next add five milliliters of unknown alcohol B to the pre-weighed 25 milliliter round bottom flask and then determine the mass of the flask plus the unknown alcohol. The mass of the pre-weighed 25 milliliter round bottom flask plus unknown alcohol B is 32.8228 grams. We will next add seven milliliters of glacial acetic acid and one milliliter of concentrated sulfuric acid to the unknown alcohol in the round bottom flask and swirl immediately to mix. We will also add a stir bar to the flask. I've connected the 25 milliliter round bottom flask to a reflux apparatus, which consists of a water-cooled condenser and a drying tube packed with anhydrous calcium chloride. We will next bring the mixture to a boil using an aluminum block and continue to heat the mixture under reflux for an additional 60 to 75 minutes. After the reaction mixture has cooled, we will next perform an extraction. We will transfer the reaction mixture to a separatory funnel and extract the organic layer three times using 10 milliliters of deionized water, then five milliliters of 5% aqueous sodium bicarbonate solution, and finally five milliliters of saturated aqueous sodium chloride solution. After each extraction, we will drain the lower aqueous layer through the stopcock into a waste beaker. After the third extraction, we will transfer the crude ester to a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and dry over an hydrous sodium sulfate for 10 to 15 minutes. After drying the crude ester over an anhydrous sodium sulfate, we will next transfer the ester to a 10 milliliter round bottom flask using a filter tip pipette.
After transferring the crude ester to the 10 milliliter round bottom flask, we next need to pre-weigh a five milliliter conical vial, which we will be using to collect the final product. The mass of the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial is 23.5480 grams. We will next purify the ester by distillation. I have attached the 10 milliliter round bottom flask with the crude ester product to the distillation apparatus which consists of a distillation head, a water-cooled condenser, a bent vacuum adapter, and we will collect the distillate in the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial. I have immersed the pre-weighed conical vial in ice to ensure condensation. I've also connected a vernier temperature probe inserted through a thermometer adapter to monitor the temperature throughout the distillation. We will continue the distillation until only one or two drops of liquid remain in the distilling flask. After collecting the ester distillate in the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial, we next need to determine the mass of the conical vial plus the purified ester. The mass of the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial plus the purified ester product is 28.1699 grams. We will now perform a microscale boiling point determination of unknown alcohol B. We will now perform a microscale boiling point determination of the ester product. Okay, students, you can now use the boiling points and the infrared spectra to determine the identities of the unknown alcohol and the ester product. Once you know the identities of the unknown alcohol and the ester product, you can then calculate the percent yield. This concludes the preparation of an unknown C4 acetate ester experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.